The F1 grenade consists of two main parts, the body and the unified hand grenade fuse. The unified hand grenade fuse consists of quite a large number of elements, which we will now examine in detail. The unified hand grenade fuse is attached to the body using a connecting nut. The fuse body is a metal plate rolled into a tube, several millimeters thick. In the upper part of this plate, there are notches for securing the guide ring, and in the lower part, a thread is cut for connection with the delay mechanism body. The delay mechanism, when screwed into the body of the unified hand grenade fuse, slightly expands it and is thus secured inside the connecting nut. But let's move up a bit and take a look at the triggering mechanism. The striker consists of a rod and a ring. The striker spring is compressed between the support ring on one end and the striker ring on the other, resulting in the creation of expansion tension. The safety lever restrains the spring and is secured by a pin that passes through the body of the unified hand grenade fuse. When the pin is pulled and the safety lever is released, the force of the spring's expansion pushes the striker downward. As a result, the striker begins its path toward the detonation mechanism. His is the detonation mechanism. It is also called the delay element. It consists of an primer igniter, which in turn consists of a cover and a detonating substance. The delay mechanism body. The delay substance. The detonator body, and the detonating substance. Each of the three explosive substances has unique chemical properties, and serves its own function. The task of the detonating substance in the primer, is to react to changes in volume. When the trigger pierces the cap, the substance is compressed, and this is what causes it to detonate. Initially, this substance was potassium chloride, but over time, it was replaced with a new synthetic compound. Next, the delay substance comes into play. The delay substance is a special chemical mixture, developed in military laboratories. This mixture is incredibly stable, and can burn at the same rate under anaerobic conditions, regardless of humidity, temperature, or pressure. Finally, the combustion reaction reaches the detonator, which in turn ignites the traddle. This is the grenade body, or as it's also called, the shirt. It is made of brittle metal, most commonly cast iron, which is capable of breaking into fragments upon explosion. During the grenade design phase, it was assumed that these grooves in the casing, would help create fragments of a specific shape and quantity. However, testing revealed, that these grooves have little to no effect on the shape of the fragments. Despite the fact, that the F1 grenade consists of a fairly large number of elements, it is a simple and practically fail-safe mechanism, capable of performing its functions in any combat conditions, making it one of the most widely used grenades in the world.